So I'm going to get some chords for Black Light Machine into the wave state, and this is how you do it. Right, I'm going to select the key range, which I want to be, because I'm going to play it down in the chord order. So I'm going to get a toe there. Turn it up. Down to there. There we are. So. Right, we've done that in the wave state. And it's very simple. What you do is you basically save that. So I'm going to call that, uh, well, I'll call it BLM Chorus Chords. Save that. Thank you. We'll put that in there. Bang. Right, that's now appeared should be in here, chorus, chorus, there it is. This is a bang, so all these sounds are the sounds I've put together to go into the wave state. What I do now is I select the device, which, because oh, I've got two of them, so I'm gonna pick that one, and it says send bang, and you hit it, and off it goes. No more faffing about with USB sticks, taking them out the back of stuff and putting them in the back. You literally, it's all sent down a USB cable. Computer talking to the synths directly, brilliant. There it is, eating the data. This is the blue one. I think this is day. That one's age. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to learn that, which sounds like this. Hang on. These are the things I've just sampled. So there's that. They were from here. I then put them out into little bits here and then chuck them in the wave state. I'm going to point the finger down there, over there. So I've got to learn this, put those samples in place, and then we've got the chorus done. And how I program them is with this marvellous bit of software. Can you see my reflection? Hello. Uh, it's the Korg Wave State Editor, which is completely brilliant. Now, what I've got over here, this talks, there's two of them. Let's see, device. Can you see that there? Look, device. I talked to the two of them. Just select which one you want to talk to. This is the first one. This is this is blue. This is day. And what I've got on this one is this organ. That one. Um, but the problem I've got is I want it over on that one. And they don't talk to each other uh, unless I... Obviously, they're not connected because they're two independent synths. So what I do, which is why this is brilliant, is I go... There's my sound there. There's my organ sound. So what I do is I go to the librarian over here and put my name in and there's the sound. And then what I do, I have to put the phone down for this one second. I have to export it. And obviously I need another arm. So hold on. Look, see it says export. I go, no, not that one actually. I want, oh, it's all gone wrong. Right, hang on. <laughs> it's just trying to edit synths one-handed. Right, there, export, boff. Tip top. Now I go to the other one, which is age. He's over here, and it sort of goes right there. We are. And then what I want to do is I want to import it in the library. So I go up to here to file, import. It's in on the other machine. So if I now go to init program and put search for it, where is it? Uh, I should put my name in. It might be easier. J E. There it is, look, there it's arrived. I just boff that in, and it's now on the other machine. <laughs> I love it. And another thing you can do that's equally brilliant, which is why I've been dancing around my hat going squee, is that if I go to the first one, the blue one, and I've got this sound here on this layer, see that layer, that's that sound, because each machine can have four layers of different stuff. So I just take that, and then the brilliant thing is between the different machines, uh, this has all got settings like, you know, zones and velocity and volume and stuff like that. So what I need to do is I just go up here 
she's brilliant. And I go, copy layer, and to the wave shape two, and I go to that sound, because I've imported the sound, but the settings are different, like that volume's not right. I then just go up to that, paste layer, and now it's all done. So that saved me having to duplicate all that control and setting up levels and velocities and effects and stuff. And that is why this is brilliant. I've now put, you've got the organ over here. Oh, this is good, that's brilliant. And then, but what I've now done is I've put the chorus chords here. They're in. But what I've got is, because it's descending in octaves, what I'm going to need to do is I want a bass line on that just to kind of have a little bit of bottom end while I do the chords up here, which will arrive in a moment. So what I need to do is I need to have one sound from one of these machines, I'm not quite sure yet, basically doing the chords down here, but because I'm then dropping an octave, that's not going to work because the bass would be an octave down, you'd probably lose it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the bass sound I've got here, there, and I put it there as well, but an octave up. So basically what will happen is I'm going to have the same bass note, even though I'm descending over two octaves. So I will do that now. Right, I've done it. I hope you can hear this on the phone, but anyway. Right, that's the low note. And then when I get here, it'll be that note again. Yes. Doing all this, even an idiot like me can play this live now. So all I've got to do now is work out how this... Oh, oh. That's not supposed to be there. So I've put a pad up here. It'll do. It sounds down here. Got the organ up here. And then the chorus goes like this. The other thing I've got here <clears throat> is what this does is it's, you probably can't see here, but I've programmed this. Whenever I change sounds on this, it tells these two where to go. <laughs> you see what I mean? You see here on these things, and I've actually allocated them different um, sets. They just don't go in sequence. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it goes back to three there, you see? Because I need to do that same sound twice. Then it carries on to four, and then it jumps back to eight. So I can basically just tell it where I want to leap around to so and I've also got it on a foot switch like that so for example at the end of terrestrial we've got what sounds up there we've got, uh, got a loop the thingy uh, I've got the bangs so and then I've got a pad here so you can basically go things. It's going to be fun this.